I always want to, uh, I, I send the alma mater with uh, my son after the game and it had to do an interview so I wasn't able to get up front with the other guys like I normally do and I just, I couldn't help but stare at our students who are still there. And that's a credit to, you know, I just keep, you know, I just keep hearing about students who quit going to games. I don't, it's not here. And uh, the minute we quit appreciation, appreciating students, I told our players, you bet if I ever hear you about you not being a gracious to a student, thanking that student, you won't play here. That's how serious I am about that because I love our students. 29,000 strong supporting our football team. And that just makes my job easier. You take away those students and then you go try to motivate that team. And that's a little more difficult. So uh, uh, we're an offensive line driven team. And uh, they won the game for us. You know, they controlled that line of scrimmage. They protected our quarterback. JT did played well. Other than uh, a drop third down and a fumble, I was very pleased for the night offensively. Defensively, uh, we're back to the drawing board on pass coverage. You know, the, the corner, a couple corners got beat and we got, gave up big plays. Other, you know, you can say other than that, but that's, that's uh, we gotta get that fixed. We're not, you can't play championship football until it gets fixed. I'll take any questions. Uh, front row right, Bo or Tim? Me? Yeah, Urban. Uh, on that on that note, what what did you tell Chris Ash and Luke Fickle you wanted after that second after that third big one? I just I, I I you know once again I don't micromanage. I, I'm going to get involved on Sunday. Uh, other than I said we ought to get the corners off a little bit, and I felt like uh, when they started running by us, that's a problem. So we're just going to have to reevaluate what we're doing, who we're doing it with, and uh, make sure we're giving our team the best opportunity to win. And that will take place tomorrow. Far left, Bill. And you're up 30 to seven. Then it's 30. 328. What's going through your mind at that point? Oh, pissed. I mean, that's that's uh, great teams don't do that. Uh, I don't want to take anything away from UC because UC is a legitimate throwing, probably the best throwing team we face since we've been here. That's a legitimate. You know, when Coach Tupperville says he's got the best group of receivers that he's ever had, you know, that everybody takes a deep breath. And go really? And uh, I even asked him after the game, and he's got a good team. You know, and uh, but that's. You know, we're Ohio State too, so we better learn how to play pass defense and and get that fixed. Front row right, Bo. Urban, kind of a coming out party for Ezekiel Elliott. I think 233 yards, something like that, a touchdown, 182 on the ground, total yards. Was it good to get? I know you've yeah. been liking him a lot, but finally getting him have a big game like this. Yeah, and it wasn't. You know, it's not like we haven't tried. It was uh, Virginia Tech. We're, 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 you know, they played some bear against us, and we had a couple nice. You know, we added some offense for that uh, particular defense. So. We have a lot of confidence in Zeke Elliott, and I think he's, before he leaves here, could be one of the great backs of Ohio State. We've a long way to go. Uh, I like the way that group works right now. That, that, that's our hardest working group, and uh, that's a credit to Stan Drayton and what he's uh, got going back there. Far left, Austin. Urban, how, how far has JT come in the last couple of weeks, and, and what area is it you think that he has uh, developed maybe the most? I think uh, not surprised uh, by his uh, development. I think Tom's an excellent coach, and he's a very good student. Uh, I still get, you know, when you see false starts, when you see a little bit of uh, disorganization, that's the, you know, they said they couldn't hear him. And that's, you know, that's, you know I, I kept screaming Peyton Manning at him. Because, you know, I, when I study or just get to watch games, Peyton Manning's still as good as I've ever seen as far as taking control, and he's not there yet. So take control of the offense. Uh, other than that, very accurate day. Um, throwing the ball, and uh, once again, other than that drop pass on third down, I think it was Devin, and then a turnover by Curtis Samuel, you know, there's not much you can do other than say, keep pushing, because that would have been, you know, a lot more yards than 700. Far right here, Jared. Uh, Urban, back to the offensive line for a moment. You mentioned uh, earlier this week you thought Chase uh, Ferris would play quite a bit for you, looked like he did, uh, rotated center a little bit. Just what do you think worked well? What combinations worked well, do you think, up front to help you sustain I'll let that? you know what I can't give you that. If I said it, I, I wouldn't know what I'm talking about. So I think Coach Warner will be ready to address that You know, next Monday, Tuesday, whenever, whenever we talk to you guys again. I, off the top of my head, I don't know. Far left, Clay. Yeah, Coach, uh, 710 yards of total offense, eight off the uh, school record. Uh, is that what you envision this thing, establishing a guy like Elliott and then getting it out quick to Dontre and Jalen and so on and so forth. Uh, that's a good point, Clay, and that, uh, you know, when you have a horizontal and vertical punch, that's that's the hardest offenses to defend. And, la you know, our first year we didn't, our only horizontal offense was Braxton Miller. And then uh, you go recruited Dontre, recruited Jalen, and we're starting to hit the, you start making them defend. Like they were playing wide defensive ends, and that was giving us the interior run. And the minute they tighten down, we hit the, the edge. So that's a little bit what we're, that's what we're trying to be in the run game. 
Uh, two more. Uh, Todd? Irvin, do you guys need to really evaluate who you are and what you are in, in the back end? Like, are you guys, you guys have the skill set to play press man coverage? You just need, need to change and be something? I really think we do, you know, but obviously, you know, I saw what you saw, and so I'll be ready to address that more because that's going to be a hard conversation tomorrow. Um, you know, I want to challenge throws. I want to play bump and run coverage. If you have the personnel to do it, keep doing it. If you don't, you got to adapt. And our guys hang in there with us. And so maybe Cincinnati's receivers are that much better than Ohio State's receivers. You know, I don't know. That's something we just got to evaluate. Um, and, we, and we lost comp. It's still early. But, you know, that's not like this is not going to be addressed and, and uh, get worked on. And final question left, uh, Doug. Urban. Heading into Big Ten play now, do you feel like you have a team that can compete at the top of the Big Ten, can win the Big Ten with what you've seen four games? I'm not ready in? to say that. You don't give up 300 yards passing and be able to look you in the eye and say that's a championship level football team out there. I see certain units playing at a very, very high level, not nine. And so, objective, our objective, and ch any championship level team operates at nine. And we, you know, since I've been here, we have not operated at nine. We've came close a few times, and today was a good example. That wasn't nine strong, though. And so we got to get a couple units fixed and figure out what's going on and, and do give them the best opportunity to be successful.